Hey all, Frank Thomas from ubotjunkie.com, ubotjunkie.com. I'm uh, pleased to make mention that uh, Ubot is now bringing out its latest version uh, of Ubot Studio. There is now a standard version, a pro version, and a developer version. And there's been lots of confusion on the forum regardless the, uh, regarding the uh, different features for the developer version. Now I'm going to just do a quick caveat. Um, things will change as Ubot as time goes on, and some of these things might change. Um, as well as I might show things that I think are dev, and it might be pro version things too. But I'm pretty sure most of what I'm going to show you today is all dev. Okay, so let's look at some of the commands. A lot of the uh, the development version commands lie underneath the uh, UI elements. Let's just do a simple uh, nav here. And I'm just going to navigate to um, to Google. If I could type, that is. Okay, so that's what our bot does. It's very simple. Now, if I compile the bot, I'm just going to call this um, example one. Okay, let's give it a second here to compile. Okay, there we go. I just uh, paused it for a second until it could finish compiling. So let's uh, just pull that bot. I've got it right here. Uh, example one. Let's run it now. Bring it on the screen for you here. So basically, it looks like it always has. You know, here's some branding here. Here's some branding here. The colors of the windows. And if we run it, it just takes us to Google and that's it. Okay. Let's go to the next step here. Now, this is, like I said, these are dev version enhancements. First of all, I was thinking, you know, like, I really like this here. Um, just looking for it here. Okay, the UI splash page. Now, let's say that I want this to start out on a splash page. Okay. When you actually run it in the script here, you're not going to see anything. But let's compile it. And I'm going to call this one example 2. I'm going to pause it again for a second. Okay, once again, it's finished. Now let's go on over here. And here's example 2. Let's look at the difference now. Okay, when the bot opens up, you see what it's doing? It's taking me to the UBOT Junkie site. Now, the internet's a little slow today, so this is just taking a second. So you can see the difference. Let's just go back to example one. There's example one. Okay? Very little's changed other than the fact that now we're moving to creating a page. Now think about this. This could either be a disclosure page, this could be an intro page, an instruction page, a, spl a true splash page, um, maybe you can insert uh, information in here and scrape it off the page after they've inserted it. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with this. And as uh, as part of the developer feature, this that is a great feature. Okay, so let's just kill that. I'm going to kill that. Let's, okay, let's take this to the next step here. Sorry. Okay, the next worst thing that you get with the developer version is you get to remove branding. Okay, it's a simple command. There's no options to it. And I'm just going to compile it again, and we'll call this example 3. Okay, there we go. It's finished. Let's go back to my window here, in example 3. So now we've put in a simple command that we can run that sends us to the site. You see this time it was a little faster. Uh, but also, look what's missing here. Look what's missing here. Let's just do that. Let's just take a look at example two in comparison. Okay, here's example two. You see the difference? Ubot Studio compiled, bot powered by you and Ubot Studio. If you are selling bots that you're developing through Ubot, this is a phenomenal feature. Uh, it's not that I don't want to sell the, the merits of Ubot, but to me, this is a lot cleaner. 
you know, in, and I've always said this on the forums, that this is a lot cleaner. And I think that uh, commercial bots need to be clean, okay? Okay, so I'm going to leave this one running in the background here, just so we can look at it again in a comparison. Now let's take another step here. Let's just take a look at the UBOT foreground color. Let's just dump that in there. Okay, now it's going to ask us for a command. Now I'm going to put in um, red. See what happened? And that's the foreground color. Let's just run that. Actually, let's uh, do a few of these all at once. Let's do the background color. That might not be a conventional color here. To be honest with you, I didn't even homework and look up the uh, conventional colors. Okay. And I'm going to do the tab color. Okay, the active tab. We'll make that one um, black. Inactive, we'll make it gray, and mouse over, we'll make it black. Okay. Okay, see the foreground color just kicked in here for us. Now I'm going to light up a new tab just so we have it there. Okay. Once again, I'm going to compile this script, and I believe we are up to example four now. Yes, we are. There we go. Okay, it's finished. Okay, let's take a look at example four. Now, I realize the colors I chose are but ugly. They're just, let's <laughs> call them Christmassy, okay? Let's just call them Christmassy. Now, let's see what happens here. Oh, it looks like that's not working there. So, I've used that command improperly. So, let me just look this up quickly, but we can see all the other things have changed. We've got the background color is green, okay, the foreground color red, okay. But we don't have the uh, the tab colors. Let me just figure out why. Okay, I did a bit of quick research, and it looks like uh, I'm pretty sure I'm using this the correct way, and it's just a feature is just not working at this point in time. But that hopefully gives you a better idea of what's going on here. So let's just take a look here. Um, this is the latest version here, and you can see that we've been able to move everything out. There have been questions of, has this been taken out? No. In the dev version, this is still present. It would be nice if it was taken out, but uh, not as much yet. And, uh, but as you can see, you can do some pretty funky stuff with it. I think if uh, you are looking to sell your completed robots, then uh, this is something you should seriously consider. Frank Thomas from UBOT Junkie. That's www.ubotjunkie.com. If you want more tutorials, more information or ideas, do pop over, and I'll be sure to uh, have some good stuff there for you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.